In tonight's Home of the Brave, a local VFW needs the support of the community. VFW Post 2514 could be in danger of shutting down and closing its doors if it can't raise enough money to pay for a new air conditioning system. News Channel 12's Megan Scarano talked to veterans there about the issue they're facing, and she's joining us now live. And Megan, how much will it cost? VFW Post 2514 has been serving veterans in the New Bern area for over 70 years. And leaders here tell me that it would cost nearly $11,000 to fix their air conditioning system. And now the VFW just hopes that the community fights for them just like its members fought for them. I joined the VFW back in, <laughs> I hate to say it, back in 1969 when I came back from Southeast Asia. I guess on paperwork I'm considered a uh, Gulf War veteran and a post 9-11 veteran. Gary Gillette and Bob Brinson are just two veterans of the nearly 200 members at post 2514 that found their place after coming home from serving our country. You have a purpose now greater than yourself that you had before, but and that's kind of what most of us miss about the military. It's not the, you know, hurry up and wait. It's not the, the missions necessarily that we have. It was the people. And so for me, the VFW is the people. And members like Gillette will tell you they don't just serve veterans, but people who live in their community. We're trying to change that stigma, that, uh, uh, that, that uh, reputation of just being a bunch of, like I said, old military guys sitting around drinking beer. It's more of a family unit. One way they do that is by renting out this hall for events. The leaders say this broken air conditioner from the 1960s could threaten their main source of fundraising. If we did not have hall rentals, uh, we would have major problems. It's like a dagger hanging with a thread and a balance. Uh, it, it must be solved immediately. Bobby Edwards tells me the air conditioning will cost upwards of $11,000 to fix. And every week until then, they will be shelling out $800 in service calls to keep it running. Kind of like Rob Peter to pay Paul. And Edwards tells me failure is not in a veteran's nature. And with donations, they can continue to give veterans what they need. It's a, a chance to try and curb veteran suicide, try and curb active duty suicide, say, hey, you're not going through this alone. That's what we need this air conditioner for, you know, is for causes that are greater than ourselves. And there are several ways that you can help this VFW replace their air conditioning unit. And you can find all of that information on our website, WCTI12.com. Live in Newburn, I'm Megan Scarano with News Channel 12.